After Medo-Persia, Greece became the ruling world power, and the culture of alcohol was already developing there. In ancient Greece, alcohol played a significant role in society. The Greeks produced a variety of drinks, including wine, beer, liqueurs, and other alcoholic beverages. The use of alcohol was widespread both among priests and aristocrats, and among ordinary people. In Greek mythology, the god of wine was Dionysus, who was often depicted as surrounded by drunken people and dogs. His cult was very popular in ancient Greece, and festivities were held annually in honor of the god, including copious drinking of wine. However, in ancient Greece, there were also laws and regulations that regulated the use of alcohol. For example, Solon's Law, one of the main legislators of ancient Greece, established that a person should bear greater responsibility for committing a crime while intoxicated than for committing the same crime while sober. Moreover, there were various measures to control alcohol consumption in Greek society, including restrictions on the sale of alcohol on certain days and hours, as well as restrictions on the consumption of alcohol on the streets and in public places. Since alcoholism never led to the development of civilization, but only to its degradation, Greek scientists emphasized the moderate use of wine. However, many thinkers and philosophers said that under the influence of wine, a person can open his soul and comprehend the altitude of thought. Thus, in ancient Greece, the use of alcohol was widespread and had cultural and religious significance. However, as in other ancient societies, there were controls and regulations in place to prevent abuse and its negative consequences. Alcoholic culture played an important role in the life of the ancient Romans. They produced and consumed various types of alcoholic beverages, including wine, beer, cider, and others. The wine was the most popular drink in the Roman Empire and was widely consumed at feasts and other social gatherings. The Roman Empire also had laws and regulations governing the sale and consumption of alcohol since the result of uncontrolled drinking always led to an unpleasant outcome. This had an impact on military service in the Roman army, on the work of ordinary peasants, and, accordingly, on the country's economy and security. In 39 BC, Emperor Augustus introduced a law restricting the consumption of wine depending on the social status of a person. For example, the military was allowed to drink no more than half a liter of wine per day while farmers and artisans were allowed to consume up to one liter per day. Beyond that, Emperor Nero introduced a law that forbade the sale of wine to young people under 25 years old. Despite the fact that the Roman Empire had laws aimed at regulating the consumption of alcohol, problems with alcoholism still existed. Historians point out that many people in the Roman Empire suffered from alcohol addiction, which could lead to social and health problems. During the development of the Roman Empire as a world state, there was medical knowledge about alcoholism and its consequences. The Roman philosopher and scholar Seneca, for example, wrote that excessive drinking can lead to physical and psychological problems, including health problems, behavioral disorders, and even death. The doctors of the Roman Empire also studied the problems associated with alcohol addiction and tried to find ways to treat alcoholics. After the collapse of the Roman Empire, the Middle Ages began. In the Middle Ages, there was no clear understanding of the disease of alcoholism. However, alcohol was widespread in medieval Europe and was used as a thirst quencher, as well as medicine and a religious symbol. During the Middle Ages in Europe, the most common drinks were beer and wine. Beer was available to almost all segments of the population, while wine was more of a luxury and not everyone could afford it. Many monasteries and churches produced their own drinks that were used in religious ceremonies. Even though alcoholism was not seen as a disease in medieval Europe, there were records that alcohol consumption could cause problems with mental health and social life. For example, cases of alcohol addiction were described, as well as drunkenness, that resulted in conflicts, violence, and crime. In some European countries, there were laws regulating the consumption of alcohol. For example, in England, there were limits on beer consumption. This rule was poorly observed, 
especially since beer was produced at almost every step. Based on this, we can conclude that alcohol was a common and important element of medieval culture, but at the same time caused certain social and health problems that were noticed and described in those times. During the Middle Ages, Turkey was a strong state. Despite the fact that the Ottoman Empire is a Muslim power, alcohol was consumed there at the speed of light. Alcoholism in the Ottoman Empire was a problem that the government tried to solve for many years. There were various restrictions on the production, sale, and consumption of alcohol, but they were not effective due to the fact that most people did not consider alcoholism a problem and continued to use alcohol for the purpose of relaxation, thirst quenching, or medical practice. At the beginning of the 19th century, almost before the collapse, the Ottoman government took a number of measures to curb alcoholism. It was ruled that only Muslims had the right to produce and sell alcohol, and non-Muslims cannot engage in this business. Moreover, fines for drinking alcohol on the streets and in public places were introduced, as well as for the sale of alcohol to persons under 18 years of age. In the 1920s, the Ottoman government banned the production and sale of alcohol during religious holidays, and in 1926, a law was adopted banning alcohol during all holidays. However, these measures also proved ineffective, and alcohol consumption remained high in some communities. Currently, in Turkey, which is the successor of the Ottoman Empire, alcoholism remains a problem, but the government is taking steps to combat this addiction. For example, in 2013, a ban on the advertising of alcoholic beverages was introduced, and in 2018, it was determined that alcohol cannot be sold in stores less than 100 meters from mosques and schools. Alcoholism has been a subject of study in the history of medicine for many centuries. Benjamin Rush is an American physician and politician who is considered one of the founders of psychiatry in the United States, also known for his research on alcoholism and the treatment of this disease. In his writings, Rush described alcoholism as an illness caused by physiological and psychological factors. He developed treatments that included a strict daily regimen, body exercises, nutrition, and drug therapy. Rush was known as the teetotaler of the USA and was the first to speak out against the daily portion of whiskey for the population. This portion became the norm for all citizens at that time, since whiskey was a cheap national drink. One of Russia's most famous and significant works was his An Inquiry into the Effects of Ardent Spirits Upon the Human Body and Mind, published in 1785. In this book, Rush described the psychological and physiological consequences of drinking alcohol, as well as methods of treating alcoholism. In the 19th century, alcoholism was a common and serious problem in many countries other than Turkey specifically in the U.S., U.K., France, Germany, and Russia. During this period, the first attempts were made to systematically study alcoholism and its treatment. One of the early researchers of alcoholism was the Swedish physician Magnus Huss, who in 1819 published an article on the physical and moral consequences of drinking alcohol. In this article, Huss described alcohol addiction as a disease that can cause physical and mental disorders, as well as social problems. The merit in the recognition of alcoholism as a medical disease and the appearance of the first description of this disease belongs to Huss. In 1849, he published an article, Alcoholic Condition as a Disease. Huss coined the term alcoholism and described the symptoms of the disease, such as the need for alcohol, tolerance to it, and withdrawal symptoms. Huss noted that alcoholism can lead to various diseases, such as cirrhosis of the liver, gastritis, pneumonia, neuritis, and others. He also turns the spotlight on mental disorders that may be associated with alcohol addiction, such as aggression, depression, delusions, and others. On the other hand, Huss emphasized the social problems that alcoholics can have, specifically family conflicts, financial problems, health problems, and so on. Although this was not a new piece of information, Magnus Huss suggested that something should be done about it in today's world. 
Huss's description of alcoholism as a disease was a significant step in understanding the problem of alcohol addiction and helped to begin the development of treatments for this disease. For his work, Alcoholismus Chronicus, he received an award from the Paris Academy of Sciences. Since then, many scientists have continued to study the problem of alcoholism and to work on developing more effective ways of treating and preventing it. To be continued in the next episode. Stay tuned.